And uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. Why is my face so bright? Okay, that's better. Hopefully that's better. That is so bright. Okay. So let me flip this around. How did I do that? And show you guys some of my dogs, man. And uh, if I don't get anybody, I'm not going to be surprised. So this is like my first live session. I just wanted to show you guys an update with my doggos. And uh, yeah, because you guys have not seen my dogs live instead of my videos. So hopefully you guys start rolling in here, uh, my subs. If not, probably you guys are working right now. That's totally cool. And Roach, Roach, what you doing, man? What's up, fat boy? And Zelda, Tox, you doing? How about you, buddy? Good boy. What's up, man? And uh, yeah, this is pretty crazy, man. Live first time. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, for you guys coming in in the future, uh, watching this live session. Uh, thank you guys so much, man, for the thousand subs. Uh, I'm really grateful about that. That's uh, it's it's a milestone for me. Hopefully, we get five thousand soon, and uh, yeah, it, it'll it'll be awesome. It'll be great. And literally, guys, I literally just went to the vet just earlier, um, just now, honestly, just to uh, take uh, Roach X Luna's puppies to the vet to the vet to uh, go get the shots and uh, have certificates so that way uh, one of them can be flying into texas with frank cardina so that'll be amazing and uh yeah girls girls what are you doing goody short back nice headpiece the classical headpiece and uh yeah they look uh they look all fond of me reaper you guys is currently pregnant you guys see that? Man, she's she's bloated, bro. She is big. I'm expecting to have puppies. Hopefully not on Christmas, man. But um, even if she does have it on Christmas or Christmas Eve or days that are closed, I don't really have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about Reaper uh, needing to do a C-section. So, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. We, we will be fine. So, And, uh, yeah, look at that. Man. Toss it. So, yeah, um, so yeah, it'll be interesting because Reaper can actually have natural. And some of you guys have like asked me a question, uh, asked me questions like, hey, do do all French Bulldogs need C sections? Or, hey, I want to get into, I want to get into French Bulldogs and all that good stuff, you know, and uh, do, do, you know, breed for these type of dogs because uh, it makes money. Or, uh, I just love the breed, the breed looks cute and everything. And, uh, it depends. It really does depend on the pedigree. So that's that's all I'm gonna say. Cardi B. Cardi, what you doing? This is the this is the Bama X Roach right here, you guys. Man, look at that muscle, bro. She is stout. Stout as hell. Look at that. <laughs> so, and then Luna. Um tell you guys honestly, Luna. She's she's more like a what you consider a like a classic type of French bulldog. Um, with me, honestly, it, I have a really different vision too. Uh, I'm breeding a lot of females to roach to see you know what actually you know clicks and all that good stuff. Like because because when you're trying to find a puppy, you're breeding and do all that good stuff. You, you have to like some breeding just has to click, man. And you know not all outcross breedings are just gonna come out nice even with both parents are coming up so frank what's up man i am ready for tomorrow i was just actually talking about you bro and uh if you don't want facetime you can facetime in a bit or you can just ask me questions right here uh so yeah yeah look at that that's my upcoming breeding right here my upcoming litter coming on on christmas so yeah i just wanted to update with you guys with this one man look at that reaper x roach Roach, what's up, son? So, guys, let me show you guys. Uh, let me show you guys this Frank's pick with Luna X, Luna X Roach. So, here, let me show the puppies real quick. I think uh, I think you guys would love this one right here. I haven't shown the puppies in a uh, in a while, in a hot minute. So, turn the lights on real quick. Right here, these guys right here. Look at that. That's my pick right there. And then there's Frank's pick. Uh, homeboy backed out. And uh, 
he he placed a deposit. He backed out. So I will be uh, posting him again. So for another lock-in or to just sell to rehome. And uh, yeah, that is a blue fawn right there. And then that's my pick again. And then there's Frank's pick right there, dude. Hella thick. Hell of mass, bro. Big ass bone. You know, not just fat. You know, this is mass on them too, man. Let's get that. Big, big bone. And uh yeah, really, really excited. So I can't wait for next year, man. Like when they get all older, when all the females get older. Tss, tss, tss. Cardi, come on. You wanna stay inside? Alright, you can stay inside. <laughs> so I just actually clean everything up, you guys, and uh yeah, got back from the vet. All do it all that good. Sign paperwork and man, it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of work. But hey, it's totally worth it. And uh, Frank, man, what you been up to, dude? Up in Texas. So yeah, look at that. Short back. So there's a there's a lot of styles that you guys actually like. You know, with you know, I I think the majority. I don't know, you guys can comment down below. Like, the majority of people, I think the type of styles that people like, um, it's it's probably just going to be, like, the typical French Bulldog, you know? Not too extreme, like, crazy, not, like, bully. I think you guys like the, like, just, a, you know, a smaller profile French Bulldog, you know, has a French Bulldog feature, uh, you know, features, characteristics, and short back, and just small and a little bit fat. Or maybe, maybe over, like, like just, just has some mass. I think that's the type of style that you guys like. Um, I know that everybody has their own type of styles when it comes to uh, French Bulldogs and even for bullies, you guys. Uh, even with bullies. And um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so Cass said, my Lilac French needs a new shampoo. What do you recommend? I recommend actually just to do uh, oatmeal puppy. Oatmeal puppy is really good. Anything oatmeal is really good, but uh, just use puppy. Don't use any type of like uh, acidic stuff or anything worth of fleas. If they don't have fleas, don't use it because um, it could be really acidic. And uh, yeah, just anything oatmeal. Anything natural is should be good for your puppies, uh, for lilacs, for blues, or for blue tries. Anything with that pigment of being like a blonde person, you know, that's, that's literally what it is. You know, because they have uh, they have skin conditions where they can uh, have that that demo dex or you know breaking out and stuff like that. So, oatmeal, anything oatmeal, puppy, I recommend that. So, okay, continuing on, you guys. So, as I was you know explaining to you guys, you know, with the types of um, French bulldogs that you guys like, and uh, some of you guys actually come to me about bullies too. Uh, you guys ask me, uh, will I ever get into bullies? Bullies, I've, um, I never personally bred bullies before. Not me personally. I did have bullies because of my dad. And, uh, yep, cast the uh, puppy oatmeal. Sounds great. So, yeah, that's good. Um, we did do bullies before. Bullies was, uh, bullies was a, was a hassle. I, I didn't really like bullies like that. Um, you know, ever, ever since, like, even when we had bullies, I had bullies back when I was in, middle school is because my dad was taking care of it and uh he, he took care of everything and uh he i learned a lot from my dad too as well um but he was the one taking care of bullies and man bullies dude they they eat a lot of food and they poop a lot like they poop like crazy and they just they eat like bags worth of food like over weeks and weeks and weeks and it, you just have to restock all the time but then french bulldogs on the other hand right french bulldogs you don't really have to worry about you know feeding them as much and you know they're literally like what a quarter or 30 percent of the size of a of a bully and it depends on what kind of bullies we're talking about here too i'm just talking about like you know standard bullies now like not talking about like the exotics or micros or because guys you know even me as french bulldog as a french bulldog owner, I, I know about the the bully community as well you know and um some of you guys asked me about bullies and i don't know bullies just it just wasn't for me uh, I've seen all the nice bullies with, you know, the, the Miyagi, G.I.G. or uh, Bape, uh, you know, those really nice bullies. And there's a reason why they are the top of the line bullies. And they are really expensive. You know, this is like chump money <laughs> compared to them. But um, but I'm happy with my dogs. You know, my dogs, 
I love these dogs, man. You know, these these are the dogs that make me happy. You know what I mean? You know, because that's 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 what I recommend for everybody. You know, have a dog that you love to yourself, man. And um, yep, Roach, so a fat boy. And you know, these guys, they're really good temperament as well. You guys, you know, I've always talked to you guys in my previous videos, man. Um, you know, breeding dogs, it's it more it's more of like just not just for the licks too, it's for temperament as well. You know, these dogs are hella smart, man. Hella smart too. You know, I don't want just like really nice dogs, but they're dumb, you know. I forgot I forgot guys, um YouTube blocked a comment of mine. Somebody somebody commented on my on my YouTube on all my YouTube videos uh with the puppy videos and uh he, he literally said that my uh either my, my dogs are the hard n-word the re hard n-word and that i treat them like shit so i literally when he, when he said that i wish it would have posted so you guys could like gang up on his ass but dude he literally was like he, he said all that and i literally was just laughing because you know i know i take care of my dogs with with love man and it's so funny and Cass says how do i build his chubby self into all muscle or at least some um so okay let me show you roach guys i just want to be truthful to you guys it's it depends all on the genetics <laughs> did you guys see that reaper what are you doing <laughs> and uh making a mess now so you know to to get a muscular dog guys it depends on the genetics of the dog too as well but you can enhance the genetics of the dog too you know it's just like it's just like us humans right it's just like us humans like we we have to you know if your genetics are not as great if my genetics are not as great as like lebron james or you know i have to work harder you know it's just like okay let's say for example like a, like a bodybuilder like like heath coleman or no ronnie coleman you know really big bodybuilder you know i know he uses steroids but even without steroids, he's still going to beat me uh, when it comes to, you know, building muscle because he's African-American. You know, African-Americans, I'm not going to lie, they're, they're more like fit. You know, they're they're physically stronger than, you know, me as an Asian person. And that's not saying that all Asians are are like, you know, weak or short like me. <laughs> so um, but it really depends on just the genetics of your dog. Um, if your dog's already has it. You can enhance the physical characteristics of the dog, but either than that, you know, if the dog doesn't have it, it's, it's going to be really hard to to enhance the look. Which is, you know, I don't really work out my dogs at all. You know, my, I'm, I'm a lazy type of guy. I'm like, I'm pretty laid back. You know, I I just they just sit back with me, man. You know, I just I, I'm just literally right now. I'm just literally just sitting right now and just chilling. You know, I don't really work my dogs out like that. Not like other people. You know, ha having high amounts of protein or uh, working them out or you know, you know when they're like Biting on that rope and then literally just swinging around, you know, uh, like Like mid-air That's literally how people, you know, work out their dogs, but these guys are they're natural uh, Maybe in the future, maybe I could enhance that look um, But you know, they, they look, already look good to me, you know as being natural You know, this is what it is That DK blood man So looks hella good to me <laughs> so you guys hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh life youtube first time so yeah so well he's not fat he's in between so yeah you just sometimes you know if they're not extreme you have to enhance that look but with me personally you guys you can just breathe for that look man you you can just breathe for that look and if you have to sacrifice your yard to get that type of type of look um it's a lot easier it's a lot easier to buy that dog instead and breed whatever is there already like you can't just you can't just you know you know breed a linky frenchie that i used to have linky frenchies i'm not hating on linky frenchies at all but you can't just breed a linky frenchie to a to a muscular frenchie and have a muscular frenchie you know, maybe one or two puppies of the litter can come out like a little bit muscular, but it's not going to be like the dad or like the mom, like not 
it's not gonna be like that, you know? That's just the truth when it comes with breeding, you know, without cross, you know? Like, it's just like our parents, you know, when we have, if you were to have kids, your parents have kids, or you have kids, they're not gonna look exactly like you or could be as tall as you or could be muscular. It just, it just really depends on the genetics of the dog as well. And you can enhance the look, but, oh my gosh, my glasses. <laughs> but, Zod, how you messing with my glasses? <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. If, if it's there, if the genetics are there already, you know, with the muscle insertions, yeah, um, it's, it's a lot better to breed like that instead. And yeah, that's, that's the point of what makes me want to talk about line breeding, right? So this is a secret, <laughs> the secret that people talk about or that people do when it comes with, you know, creating the old bloodline. They have to line breed the dog and obviously line breeding aka inbreeding smartly you have to you have to know what you're doing when it comes with inbreeding dogs you know throwing the daughters back to the dad and in doing all that good stuff and uh some people some people may shun that some people may disagree with that and i used to be like that too you guys i used to not like holy shit you know the dog's gonna be dumb as hell and but no no actually it's it's not you know that's how horses are made as well. You know, um, they, they inbreed to, to lock in a key characteristic on, on for that dog. So Roach is like a perfect candidate to start lion breeding with him. And that's how you create a dog like Roach or better than Roach. You know, guys, with me personally, you know, when it comes with me for breeding, my goal, my journey is to have a dog like Roach, right? but smaller, you know, smaller. Roach is like, what, 29 pounds? I want a dog that can, that can be at least, you know, 23, 24 or under. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna take some time, you know, and Roach's blood, the DK blood, it, it, it's known to be really small. So yeah, that's, um, that's, that's hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So that's, that's literally my goals. Um, you guys can comment down in section below for you future viewers or you guys in right here right now Like what type of dog do you guys want? Like what is your What, what is your your goal for breeding? Like what, what kind of looks do you want? You know bullies or French Bulldogs, you know, like bullies. Do you, do you want a long-tailed? Bully, you know, like a like a pit bull a long tail or a short tail or a kink tail um or do you guys like the, you know, long tails, really short back or really short in height wise or big head, you know, just like the classical exotic bully. You know, there's there's t lots of looks um, when, when it comes with people breeding dogs, man. And everybody's got their own style of dogs. And uh, if you guys want to know what I like and uh, Cass is going for a walk, no problem, Cass. Have a, have a great walk. So, um so you know when it comes with the looks of types of bullies or french bulldogs um everybody's got their own style you know as long as you enjoy your style as long as you enjoy your dogs and love your dogs man that's literally all that matters the most because now you guys if you guys don't know man i've, I've heard you know like man just, just people get into fights now You're like but bullies like bully shows not french bulldog shows but bully shows man like people be getting into fights and stuff like that and it's it's crazy you know, it's it's not even about like showing the dog no more. Like it's literally like competing against the person. It's it's pretty crazy. And, like people go to these shows now to start fighting now, and it's it's pretty crazy, man. And honestly, you know, I, I don't. That's that's also the thing why I don't do bullies as well. Um, it's because of that. Like honestly, the the bully community is really toxic, bro. It's it's really toxic. <laughs> it's really toxic man and uh yeah i really never talked to you guys about bullies in my channel but if you guys wanted to hear about some yeah i will talk to you guys about some yeah but bullies man are really bullies are really uh the bully community is really toxic man and i'm i am not a fan of it but french bulldogs you know i love all french bulldogs um you know all french bulldogs in all different sizes and you know big bone skinny bone don't matter you know guys i, I had all types of french bulldogs man and but it's just like since two years ago man it's when i really wanted to know like the type of look that i really want to go for and it's it's honestly just being short small 
muscular and that's pretty much it you know muscular and has some fat in between and that's pretty much the type of look that i want and we're almost there but i have to i have to breed for that to to enhance that look and yeah you guys you guys uh, love roach you guys love toxic reaper cardi you know they're they're all amazing dogs but i can do better you know there, there's always a better dog out there that you can outproduce yourself and that's just the truth about breeding so and yeah um how long we got 20 minutes around 25 minutes i'll head out you guys and uh contact frank you know when we facetime and stuff like that so and uh yeah let me show you guys you know really good dogs man really good dogs what are you guys doing look at that zelda luna and toxic what are you guys doing? You guys playing? Eating? Look at these cows, man. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, Zelda, you guys. If you guys don't know who Zelda is, Zelda is actually uh, with Roach. Roach x uh, Letty. So, Zelda, if you guys didn't know, Zelda is related to Reaper by the mom's side, but not through the dad. So, Zelda and Reaper are related to each other, half-sisters. But Reaper's mom, no, Reaper's dad is toxic. Zelda's dad is Roach. So, um, so yeah, uh, my, my blood is pretty close to each other. So, all right, guys. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it that I wanted to update with you guys. I know I didn't get a lot of people coming in, but, hey, that's totally okay. It's just part of the process of just learning. And, uh, yeah, I will be uh, going live uh, more often and hopefully you can get a bigger audience. But yeah, I will, I will start making content and videos and still do all that stuff. And you guys always, hopefully in the future, you guys can ask me, you know, puppy questions all the time and just random people can come in and learn and stuff. So love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I will be heading out. I need, uh, I need to deal with some paperwork and stuff and deal with school. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Peace.